Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to another video. So today's video, I thought I could do a fun little phone customization video for autumn because I absolutely love autumn. Summer is my favourite season but autumn is definitely up there as well. But yeah, so I thought I would do one of these videos. I actually came up with the idea in the previous video, if you haven't seen that yet, it was an autumn bucket list ideas video. And I just came up with the idea like, hmm, maybe I should do this and film it for you guys. So currently my phone isn't really giving off any seasons. I've got like the world as the lock screen and same as the home screen. And it's just looking a bit bare. Um, so I've got like a couple widgets here um, and here. Yeah, we need to like spice it up. We need to add the pumpkin spice to it. <laughs> that was a rubbish joke. <laughs> so what I think I'm going to start off with is the lock screen and home screen so i know for definitely for lock screen i took this photo like last year like some deer that were in a field and i absolutely love it it so gives off like twilight vibes so i'm definitely gonna have that as my lock screen but i need to find something for my home screen i'm gonna try and find that photo the one i took okay so i've moved over to this side of the screen because i'm gonna screen record right here so i have found that photo of the deer this is the one here i've got and it's so pretty i love it i took it through like the binoculars so i'm gonna add that to my look screen oh yeah i forgot you need to do like the special widget stuff that one so i like doing the title of that one so let's go for colors maybe like a forest green yeah, like that kind of colour to kind of match the greeniness of the screen. Um, and then I usually have that. So the date, live your dream. Because I always think it's important to be like reminded of that every time you look at your phone. And for widgets, I always put reminders. Okay, I do have like a moon phase. I think I'm going to put the moon. I usually, sometimes I have the moon um, just because I like to know what the moon phase kind of thing is at. At the moment, I'm going to click as pair. And I'm now going to go and find um, the Pinterest, off Pinterest, home screen. I quite like this one. I might go for that. I'm going to download it and keep it there in case I find something else. I feel like for the background one, like, these kind of photos are gorgeous, but I think they're better for the lock screen, whereas I like to have something a bit simple for the home screen because you've got all the apps going on and I want to be able to read what apps is what. And this quote is so true. I absolutely live by this quote. So this is your sign, clearly, to see this message today. Okay, so I'm either going to go with this background. I think it's quite autumn-y, or this one, which is not autumn at all. It's just kind of basic for any season, but it's got that green to tie in with the lock screen. So I'm just gonna see how they look. Mm, I feel that's too like dark and sad looking. Yeah, I definitely think I'm gonna go with that one. Um, the apps are covering what it says. So I think I'm gonna kind of cut it off to where you can actually see it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is widgets. So I think I'm gonna leave the calendar and the clock that I've got at the top because it's got that green but I'm definitely going to change my widgets about and organize my apps a bit better. So some of the photos that I found which would look really nice as like a, a lock screen, foresty kind of lock screen, I think I might have some of that as a widget. Oh my god the one with the dogs is so cute. No, I'm having that one. The dogs and the cats. Oh my god, I'm so having that one. Oh my god, there's a Christmas one. I'm going to save that to my wallpaper board because I need to have that for Christmas. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at the dog on the skateboard. Oh my god, that's so cute. That's done with watercolours. That one's really nice. That one's really nice as a home screen. Wait, let me save that. Maybe I'll have that as a home screen. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with dinosaurs. I need to save that. I'm getting like so distracted. Oh my god, you can have that. Oh my god, I'm so gonna have that as one of the things. What's, what song do I like that has got a green background? 
I think I might do eyes on fire. What? Oh my god, I'm finding this all out. I'm obsessed. Okay, let's change the other widget then, the one with the moon. Okay, so I've done, I'm done now with the widget. So I have got just the normal calendar with the clock at the top because I quite like having that one. It's quite all organized and laid out really well and it's got the green border which matches the green in the photos. Actually, saying that, I think I'm going to edit the widget color border to a darker green dark green there we go right that looks a lot better now i just kind of like to need to reorganize my apps um so i like this one how i've got it on the home screen here is quite nice because i like the little um folders i've got underneath the widgets i think that looks nice so maybe i should do it again on this side as well so i'm going to quickly do that now the thing i find annoying with this like when you're moving about the apps it kind of moves as your widgets and you're like oh don't do that i wish somehow you could put them on a lock okay so that is my customization screen done so let's get on now to what's on my iphone so i actually have the iphone 12 and i love the iphone 12 i just have a clear case on it that i need to get a new one because the sides have all gone that like yellowy kind of color now and i've got this like gucci card i got on the back and i just found it it's when you go through i think i went to john lewis and they had all the expensive perfumes and you know the little bits of paper they give you to spray the perfume on so then you can smell it i actually grabbed a few of these and then i kind of turned this into a case kind of thing where i just like slipped it at the back and i kind of like used lipstick and i like kissed the back and it looks really cute like i love it so for the lock screen i have this photo that i took through the binoculars of these deer in the field and it's so pretty and just so autumnal like i absolutely love it i have then got on the top saying wednesday the 20th and then live your dreams because i always think it's really important to remind yourself and then i have the day which is the 11th of the 19th i have reminders because i always need to remind myself of certain things and I'll f I forget so easy, whereas if it's on my lock screen, I'm like, oh, okay, like I remember it now. And then I've got the moon phase because I just, I'm really interested in all that stuff. So for the home screen, I have got this really cute background of these dogs in jackets and scarves and boots with like leaves falling all around. And I think it's so cute. I absolutely love it. And I found it off Pinterest. Um, and then I've got the top, I have Widget Smith, which just gives you just the calendar and the time. And I put like a dark green border around it just to kind of keep that dark green autumn kind of theme going through. Um, and then I have another widget on the left, which is Eyes on Fire album cover, um, which is actually a song I have on my Twilight playlist on Spotify. And like that Twilight playlist is so like autumnal, so I thought I would have that as the cover. And then on the right, I found this picture of Pinterest, which is like a dark green background with pumpkins, like kind of outline drawing, which I think is really cute and really simplistic. I have my four little folders. So I have the normal Apple kind of folders that gives you just all the basic Apple stuff. Plus I've got BBC Weather and Widget Smith. So that's just all of those. Don't need to get into those ones because everyone who has Apple has these. The next one is money. So it's everything really that I guess basically it has to do with money. So I have Uni Days app, which I don't know why I still have because I'm not a uni anymore. Depop, H&M, my bank, PayPal, Amazon, Apple Wallet, Superdrug, Urban Outfitters, Moneybox, Hollister, Waterstones, Vintage. And this one is, this app is what I use for discount for where I work. The next folder is social. So I have the contacts, Pinterest, TikTok, YouTube, Bitemoji, Be Real, Facebook, phone, Gmail, FaceTime, Messenger, and Mail. All my socials are linked down below as well. So if you want to go follow me, have a look. I've got it all written down there. And then I have photos, which is photos, camera, Google Photos, free prints, Visco. I don't know why I have Visco. I used to use it all the time and now I don't, so I should get rid of it lens buddy and i love this app because it's a way to take group photos kind of so if you're like with your friends and you need to set the camera back this will take a few photos you can change it how many times you want to take the photos but 
for example I've got it set to 10 photos and I give it two seconds in between of each photo so um, it's even good to take alone picture this which is so cool so if you love plants you just take a photo of anything that's got to do with plants and it will tell you what it is so on here I have like my plants which is my garden and it shows all the plants I have and I can actually set reminders for when to water it it will tell you all about the plant I feel like my voice is going croaky the more I talk is that better that's better there we go that's better um and anyways you can write notes as well about it I have Lightroom Canva which is what I use for doing my thumbnails and then I had this UKG ready which is what I use to clock in clock out of work and time sheets and all that stuff um, this tree app is really interesting as well so um, you go on here once a day and you kind of plant a tree in these certain different places you can pick which one all you've got to do is just it takes three steps and you just click next 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 and it shows you a sponsor and that's it done and then hopefully they actually do plant trees I have light radar 24 which I love looking at I'm not going to click onto it because it's showing my location but um, it just shows you all the planes and helicopters that are all flying out in the sky at the time and you can track where they're going, where they've come from. It's such a fun app because sometimes I'll be playing going over and I'll be like, oh, where's that one going? I'll have a look and it's going to like New York or something. And then I have a Star Chart, app, which is my favourite app. It's definitely my favourite and it's very accurate and it just, you can just point your phone like this and it will show you all of the stars and planets in the sky exactly where you are. So... Oh, I just love this app, it's so cool. And then on the next screen, I have just my little emails kind of thing, just so I don't have to go into the app, but see what I've got emailed. And then on the left, I have a widget, which is what I took in Devon, a holiday I went on and I did vlog it. So if you wanted to see that, go look at my channel. It's um, like giving autumn vibes. And same with the photo on the right, although I got that one off Pinterest. Um, and then here, I was going to have like four folders, which I did on the first page, but I didn't have enough apps to kind of make like a folder, like two more folders. So I've just got documents on here, which I just kind of use to get music off of YouTube to add on my videos. And I have this folder, which is games. So I've got episode and um, yes, I know some people might think it's cringy, but I do love episode. <laughs> and then I've got Daddy. Daddy long legs game, don't worry, it's not like what you think it is. Okay, so you just have to try and get as far as you can. Oh, I'm doing really well. Yeah, basically. And then there's Yeah Bunny 2, which is a really fun, like, cute arcade kind of game. I love it. It's like so old looking, but it's like really cute. And you have to, I think you have to save the chicks out of the cage and then bubble shooter. And then I have out and about. Um, so this is just, I have grab it or grabbed, grabbed. I think it just shows you really popular, really cool destinations nearby to you or just wherever. Say I want to go to for London of the day. I can search up London and it will tell me loads of cool little things not many people might know about, things to do in London. Um, I have time tree, which is basically a timetable for like a group and you can all put in your availability time. So usually I'll do this with my friends to find out when we're free to see each other. And I have my theory test, which is just a driving theory test app thing. Three, that's the daytime company data thing I'm with. Train line, which is for trains. And then uh, that's my gym. And then I have Clue, which is app for the ladies to track your I have right move so this just lets me look at houses I'm nowhere near to a falling house but I just like to have a little browse on that anyways Spotify tasty which is so cool I love this app it has so many different recipes on that like for anything absolutely anything you can find and it's it just gives you step by step or a video to watch and it tells the ingredients and it's brilliant and then I have YouTube studio which is what I use to look at my YouTube and how it's growing and all that jazz. On the bottom, I don't know if you call that like a dock, but I'm not sure, but on the bottom dock area, I have WhatsApp, um, Instagram, Snapchat, and Message. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am in love with all my like autumn-y kind of little 
phone now i'm so excited for autumn now i can't wait the weather has finally gone autumn here we're having loads of rain showers yes i'm just so excited so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a lovely day rest of your week rest of your month rest of your year <laughs> i love you so much guys see you in the next one bye